Hello friends, I'm Norm Souden. Privileged to be pastor of Mail Bay Baptist Fellowship. I want to tell you a little bit about our church family. I feel like we're a pretty wonderful bunch and uh, uh, really quite unique in many ways. Uh, our church family was birthed out of a house church that Pastor Chris and Lois Naylor had organized in their home for a while. And about uh, the beginning of March of 2011, services began in Bell Bay Community League Hall. And most of our services are there. One of the things that really attracted me about the church family when they asked me to consider the possibility of being a pastor was the incredible love that I felt from people for the Lord and also for each other. We're very blessed to have a lot of members with uh, extreme experience in church ministry and with a deep, deep commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. In many churches you have to look around to see if there are any seniors available. In our church family you have to look around and see if there's anybody under 50 who's there. But I believe that with all the love that is there and all the experience, that growth is just around the corner for our church family. For many of our church family, they're there out of uh, a deep sense of what the church is all about as a community. Some of them have experienced pain in the church before, and many of them have dropped out from the church. Um, I often say that we have lots that we converted from being um, in the JAMA church, and uh, now they're back in fellowship and active with the church family once again. I love the way that people have embraced healing in their lives and also embraced the opportunity to be at work planting a church in an area that doesn't have an uh, evangelical church. Bill Bay has a couple of churches, and we have a real desire to focus on international students because we have a really wonderful international school just blocks away from us and also involve ourselves with First Nations ministry. I'm very grateful for this invitation to join what was a very dynamic team, Pastor Chris and Lois and um, some other folks like Dave and Francis and Ken and Mary and Debbie. We're just such a welcoming bunch when we came along and now it's neat to see many other added to the church family and people step into leadership quickly. I love the way that people don't just talk about being uh, followers of Jesus and in community, but really practice community, really care for one another, and really get active and caring for others in the community who have a special need. I think this is the kind of Christian community that's very magnetic, a community that draws in other people because they see the way that they're helped and loved and can't resist the pull. It's also a church family that's willing to think outside the box. Uh, some people might not think that uh, those of us who are over 50 years of age can do that, but I love the way that our church family is willing to accept the challenge and willing to look at some very unusual things. Sometimes we're forced to be very creative about where we're going to worship. We can't always have services in our hall, and so we've uh, worshipped in Pine Lodge Theater. We've been in the Rec Park uh, Shelter at Cary Park, and maybe the most interesting was at Christmas and New Year's, we moved to a furniture store, which is, was part of a First Nations ministry, and uh, it really worried me as a pastor because I hate to see people go to sleep in a lazy boy during the sermon. That puts some pressure on. And because we're a small church and because a space is not always available to us, we make good use of homes as well. In the immediate future, I expect this summer to go from being a part-time pastor to a full-time pastor. We have two workers from Child Evangelism Fellowship coming to share with us 
and we're going to be putting a strong focus this summer on uh, children and families. And we're praying, as I said earlier, about opportunities to meet and connect with international students and also First Nations within our community. We're so grateful to Canadian Baptists of Western Canada, the BC and Yukon region, and on Vancouver Island for all the support and encouragement that we've received. Thank you all very much from the bottom of our hearts. God bless you.